I'm in, I'm in business. So let's talk about what's going on. Um, many of you have heard, uh, we got a stimulus check, things are coming, all that stuff. Congress, Senate, they, man, they've been doing this stuff forever. Um, just kind of going over what's going to be best for the economy, what's going to be best for this. And I think uh, one of the things that we can all agree on is whatever's best for the people is what needs to happen. And I feel like um, they did their best to do something very quickly. Although um, President Biden was on um, doing an address today and just saying that there will be more to come. So take this survival stimulus is what that that's not the name of it. OK, that is not the name. That's the name I gave it. <laughs> Come on, survival stimulus. Um, thank you all for putting a one in the comments. I appreciate that, uh, all of you. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So in this video, we're going to talk about the stimulus checks and how it affects individuals just on a very simple level. This bill was thousands of pages long, all right? Um, but I'm not going to go into that kind of stuff. I'm going to tell you what's important, if that's all right come on important let me give you the important stuff what you're going to be what's normally affecting most of um, our people and then we'll move forward in the next video we'll talk about uh, business owners and things like that so with that in mind let's let's talk let's talk so the first thing um, is the unemployment so if you or anyone you know um, has been on unemployment or had is experiencing an unemployment situation they definitely want to apply with their state um, or local government course. So when you apply with them, you go through that unemployment process. That's not what this is about. What it is about is that they have an extension on the $300 boost. So there's a $300 boost each week on top of your regular unemployment that you would qualify for. So that has been extended. If you, let me, let me give you some details. If you, let's say, ran out of your 39-week period, because that was the original period that they had, if you run out of that period, they actually extended it about 10 or 11 more weeks for you. So that's really great, okay? Now, am I saying that unemployment boost is gonna start immediately? No, no, I'm not saying that. Technically, the dates are starting at the uh, December 27th, and it's like through March, I think it's like the 14th, something like that. But the details in that case, just know it's about an extra 10 weeks, 10 or 11 weeks for you if you've extended or already exhausted your first 39 weeks. That's very important. So you can go ahead and start getting those benefits. Go ahead and apply now for the unemployment, okay? If, let's say you are an entrepreneur and you have a like a self-employed business and then you also maybe work part-time, normally those people who have unemployment have low amounts of uh, unemployment on the baseline, okay? So if that is you, they actually have an additional $100 that would be added to your unemployment if you are self-employed and you also maybe do some part-time work as well. So just so you know, those are some benefits. The unemployment with the state and local governments is um, in place and has been extended. Make sure you take advantage of that. That is your tip number one on the unemployment, okay? The second thing, okay? Second thing, let me make sure we're good. Yep, yep, we're good. All right, so with the um, stimulus check, all right, I'm going to get there, but give me a second because that's the longest piece I want to give you. The second piece that I want to give you is about the, mm, what is the evictions. There we go. If you're renting, you cannot be evicted. Um, now, we want you definitely to pay your rent. That's very important. Remember, your landlords have bills too, but you cannot be evicted at least until J January 31st. So I had a friend, she was telling me, she said, Candace, man, so many of our tenants are going to be evicted because, you know, they're getting ready to, to get rid of that, that non-eviction kind of clause, the law that they had, but that's no longer happening right now. You have until January 31st before your landlord can evict you. That has been extended. They're also having other uh, resources out there that I'll do another video on on how you can get yourself some assistance with some rental assistance that those programs are going on. Um, and I'll do another video about that soon. Okay. So you cannot be evicted. That's good. That's another piece. Now let's talk about this stimulus check. If you're ready for me to talk about the stimulus check, put that in the comments. Do me a favor, put it in the comments right now. Just put hashtag money, right? Because that's what you want to hear about. I know that's what you want to hear about. I'm gonna give you what you want because I'm here for the people, right? <laughs> All right, so let's do it. Let's do it. So with the stimulus check, okay, with the stimulus check, it is a $600 stimulus check. I call it survival because it's better than nothing. It's less than the $1,200 we originally received, right? But eh, something's better than nothing. The Congress did what they're supposed to do by getting something out there. I give them that. Took them a long time, but hey, no complaints. We're just going to take what we can get at this point, right? 
So with the stimulus $600 check, let's talk about who that's for, who qualifies. If you are single, your income has to be under, well, let's, let's put it this way, 75,000, your adjusted gross income. Now we won't talk about all that, what that means, just know 75,000 or less gives you qualify, qualifications for the full stimulus. Um, there's a $5 reduction uh, for every like, hundred dollars over that so right when you get to about eighty seven thousand as a single person you get no stimulus um i'll leave that at that okay but simple words seventy five thousand dollars or less as a single person it's about one twelve a hundred and twelve thousand dollars you make a year on your adjusted gross um that is for a head household and then about 150 a year 150 thousand a year for mary file and joint gets six hundred dollars for that person. If it's a married filing jointly people, right? You got a couple together. Well, they'll get $1,200, right? 600 plus 600, as long as they meet that income threshold. Now let's talk about the children. This is so important. I need you to be paying attention. Are you paying attention? Say yes. Do me a favor. Say yes, I'm paying attention. You need to be ready for this, especially if you have children. And if you have friends that have children, you still got to pay attention because everybody needs to know and help somebody. You're going to help somebody by sharing this video and you're going to also help somebody because if you're on my YouTube channel right now, you're going to subscribe. Yep, you're going to subscribe. All right, let me tell you this. Here we go. If you have children, the children qualify for the $600, so they get $600 too. So it's $600 for the adults and $600 for the children. The, the children qualify for the $600 if they are 16 years old and younger. That's considered a child dependent. 16 and under. Now, some people will say it's 17 and under, but that's not true. 17 is the disqualifier for this actual um, stimulus package, okay? Within this package, if you're 17 and older, that means you hit 17 during the tax year when you filed your taxes, which is 2019. If that person is 20, when you filed your taxes in 2019, if that person was 17, even though they're still kids, right? But they're, they're kids, you take care of them, you feed them, they in your house. I get it. I, I'm just the messenger. I promise I understand. They don't qualify though. So you won't get any money for them if um, if that's, if that's, that's 17. All right. That's simple, simple stuff. 16, what's the, what, tell me the age. Do me a favor, put it in the, put it in the comments. What is the age? 16 and younger. Put that in the comments because I need you to make sure that you're helping somebody because they're going to say that they didn't know, but this is true. 16 and under from a tax perspective is what's called a child dependent. And in this actual stimulus package, you will not get the actual extra $600 if that child on your 2019 taxes was above the age of 16, meaning they were 17 and older. All right, here we go. If you were on, let's make sure we got the kids covered. Yes, kids are covered. Will they get their own stimulus? If they didn't file their own individual tax return, not as a dependent, they do not qualify. It's the same rules that were a part of the old, the uh, original CARES Act plan stimulus package. It's the same stuff. So mm, that's what I got. Okay. Now I don't make the rules, but let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Some of you didn't get your stimulus at the end of this video. I'm going to tell you how to get your stimulus if you didn't get it the first time. Oh, I'm going to show you how to get both of them. All right. So let's keep going. If you are on Social Security, if you're a veteran, um, those kind of things, and you get like just regular monthly checks, you don't have to go and do the non-filers form or do any of those things. Why? You don't have to do that because the government has already um, collaborated with the Social Security Administration, and they're going to issue those checks out. You don't have to do anything, but just wait for it. If you're on um, direct deposit, right, guess what? They're going to send you the money. Just wait for it. It's coming. Now, the thing with that, though, some of you uh, may have filed your taxes and you use your direct deposit info. That information is on file. But if you no longer have that account, guess what? That that fund, like that money is going to reject first. Mm, I, I hate to tell you this, but I got to tell you the truth. Right. Come on, the people. I'm doing it for you. Right. I need you to know. It's going to send it to the account. If you if you have an account that you no longer use and you used it during tax season, they're going to send it to that account. It's going to reject back to the um, to the government. And then they're going to issue you a check. I know it's going to take a little longer for you to get your money because everyone else they're actually starting stimulus uh, rounds at the end of December. We thinking checks will be showing around the first. Now this is what they said. Now listen to me. I'm just 
I just read the law and he'll be out, okay? I give it to you in labor's terms. The, the check should be showing up around January 5th, 6th, around that first week of January. And that's the direct deposits, okay? Then secondary with the checks and stuff like that, normally a week or two later, they'll be issuing checks and those um, cars, they have little cars that are going out. I think they call it EPS cars or something like that. Those will be going out as well about a couple of weeks after the original direct deposits, okay? So just want to be clear on how the money's coming, what's happening with that, and let me tell you one other thing, how you're going to get your money if you never got your original check. Yes, you can still get your original stimulus check, let's be clear, if you don't owe child support, right? That's on, That's the only way that they're taking stimulus checks. They, they ain't giving it to people who owe child support. I'm sorry. Again, I don't make the rules. I'm just giving you good info, right? So if you owe child support, let's say um, John John... <laughs> Oh, it's child support uh, for a thousand dollars. He's a thousand dollars in the rears. He almost caught up, right? Or Jim, Jim, Tim, no, um, Janet. She's almost caught up, right, on her child support. Cause I don't want to always, you know, every time you turn around, people make it seem like it's always men who owe child support. It ain't always men. Women they owe child support too. So I'm gonna say it's a woman this time. Janet owes child support. She's a thousand dollars in the rears, and y'all laughing at me. I know, I know. But listen to. It. <laughs> She's $1,000 in the rears on child support and her stimulus check comes. Guess what? That $600 goes toward her arrears payment. And now she's only $400 in the rears and she'll be almost caught up because her stimulus check went to um, her family uh, or child that is um, the money's going to. All right. So with that in mind, I just want to be clear that rule still applies. Uh, if you owe taxes, can you still get your, your uh, actual Stimulus check, yes, you can still get your stimulus check as long as you meet those thresholds of income that we talked about earlier in the video. Last thing, okay, last thing. Here we go, you ready? If you're ready, put it in the comments, ready. I'm gonna wait for you. Put it in the comments, ready. And I'm gonna tell you this last piece on how you're gonna get your stimulus check because let me tell you why, you're gonna put ready in the comments. Oh, that, that, there it is, all right, all right, here we go. Got ready in the comments, here we go. If you hire a great company, called Performance Tax Group and Financial Services. You know I got to do the plug for my people. Come on. If you hire this great company called Performance Tax Group and Financial Services, all you got to do is go to performancetaxgroup.com. If you hire them, they're going to make sure that you didn't miss your money. But just in case you went outside, I understand, you know, yeah, I get it. Everybody not going to make it. I, don't, I understand. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. All right. I'm for real now. <laughs> I know. Let me tell you something. Tax and, and this kind of stuff is not fun. It's not, you know, but I like to smile and have fun. And I enjoy telling you all this stuff in layman's terms because sometimes, you know, you don't, it don't always make sense, right? So here we go. Let me make sure I give you the piece. Here we go. On your tax return, if you did not get your first stimulus or if it takes a while for your next stimulus to come, or if you didn't get the first one, you probably won't get the second one and you actually qualified, well, guess what? You can actually claim the credit on your tax return um, when it's time for you to file in 2020. Yes, you can file it on your taxes. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it because you should hire someone that knows what they're doing like us at Performance Tax Group, right? You can always do that by calling us at 501-613-7423. We'll make sure to put that on the screen for you. But here we go, here we go. Just be clear that you can recoup. It's kind of like, I like but how I like to put it. You can recoup that stimulus if you did not get your stimulus check and you qualified for it. There's a whole lot of other things I want to tell you, I need to tell you, but I wanted to give you this simple breakdown first. We're going to talk about the stimulus package for business owners, how if you haven't um, applied for the PPP, uh, the options for that, the EIDL, it's a whole lot of stuff that we qualify for as business owners. You, If you're not a business owner, you want to definitely become one um, and get that started, but we'll talk about that later. But I just wanted to give you these simple things about the stimulus package that are affecting many people right now, especially as individuals. They, I'm going to do a recap. Here we go. They cannot evict you from your, if you're renting, they cannot evict you at least up until January 31st. And there'll be some uh, different programs and stuff that I'll be telling you all about so that you can get rental assistance. The second thing is that the unemployment boost has is here. There's an extra $300 a week, an extra $100 on top of that three if you have self-employment income. And the um, self-employed people who are solely self-employed, I wanna be clear to, to, to reiterate this and put this in here, is that the PUA, 
is what it's called, is still available as well. So if you were self-employed and solely self-employed and you did not get unemployment, you can. Yes, you can. So make sure you contact someone to help you like huh, performance tax group. Yes, we'll assist you with this process for the nominal fee, right? We'll take care of you. Uh, we care about our clients. That's what we do because at this time it's tough for everyone. So we want you to make sure you're using your resources and you have exactly what you need during the process, all right? So with that in mind, um, that's number two. That was number two. No, no evictions. Unemployment is available for self-employed and individuals and the boost is there as well as the stimulus check of $600 for the individual person who makes under the thresholds of income as well as those six extra $600 per child in the household um, as well. That child has to be how old? 16 and under. Um, 17 and older is not considered a child to the IRS, to the government. So just want to be clear on that. So I hope this was very helpful. If this was helpful, make sure you put just thank you in the comments. That's all you got to say. Just say thank you. Make sure um, if you're on the YouTube channel, guess what you're doing? Subscribing right there. And if you're not on the YouTube channel, make sure you go subscribe because I always give you great information because why? I'm a revenue growth strategist. I teach you strategies that show you how to grow your revenue without using your labor and always doing it for you, the people. Why is it for the people? Because it's just so important for us to work together, to do it together, and I'm here for you. So I appreciate you. If you need some assistance, you have the number. Of course, I've given it to you, but you also have the website, performancetaxgroup.com. We'd love to work with you. We'd love to assist you. And thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, we'll see each and every one of you at the top because the bottom is way too crowded. Y'all have a great one. Thank you so much.